Hi, this is Jason Robinson with Golden Rule Auto Sales. <clears throat> Just wanted to go over some specifics of this beautiful Lincoln Navigator with you. One of the things that I like to do, uh, since I primarily sell online, is go over every inch of the vehicle with you just as if you were inspecting the vehicle yourself in person. Most of my customers buy um, from all over the country and have the vehicle shipped sight unseen. Works really well for me since I do a very thorough job describing the vehicle. Um, it saves them a lot of money uh, since my prices are typically two and a half to three thousand dollars lower than comparable vehicles in most other parts of the country. Um, first thing I'd like to do is show you the tire depth. Uh, this is a gauge that measures how deep the tire uh, 30 seconds are. This measures the uh, thir 30 seconds. Most tires come new <clears throat> around 11, 30 seconds. And uh, I will set this here and zoom in on it so you can see um, how deep the tires are. I mean, they're basically... Uh, brand new tires. So they're right at uh, basically 12, 30 seconds, and uh, I'm not even pushing down at all. So, I mean, they are less than probably 200 miles. Uh, I mean, they're, they're basically brand new tires all the way around. <coughs> um, one of the things you have to watch out for when buying a used vehicle with the alloy wheels is the wheels will get all pitted up and have little dents and dings in them and such or you'll have some curb rash. Um, these uh, these rims for the year are in amazing shape. I mean, there's a little, little curb, very little curb rash there, but no pitting or anything like that. As you can see here with this one, um, it, I mean, it's immaculate, no pitting or curb rash. And uh, again, 12, 30 seconds. Um, so new tires, of course, the vehicle comes 125 point inspected, um, brakes, rotors, struts, tires, ball joints, wheel bearings, all that type of stuff. So hundred percent good to go. As far as the exterior on this side of the vehicle, um, for the year, for the miles, I would give it a eight out of 10, 10 being about a show car condition vehicle. Um, this is just about as clean as you're going to find one. Obviously, it's a used vehicle. There's going to be very minor imperfections here and there. Um, there is a very small little ding here that a dent wizard type of place uh, could ping out. Uh, very, very, very minor little indentation here, about a centimeter wide and about um, a half inch high. Um, and you really can't even see it. I'm just being real anal. This is a Lincoln Navigator. My Lincoln customers are great people, but they want a very nice vehicle, which is understandable considering the amount of money they're paying. So there's no rust on the vehicle. Even though I'm located in Ohio, I do not buy vehicles from Northeast Ohio. Uh, I get my vehicles from uh, Pennsylvania primarily, and that's where I picked this one up at. And I like the Pittsburgh area because of all the steel mills, they use a ash substance on the road. Um, so the underneath are very, very clean. Uh, as far as the front bumper, it is in excellent shape. A lot of times these get a lot of bug marks, a lot of rock chips. Um, this one doesn't have any. A lot of times this area right here gets bug marks and rock chips. And as you can see here, it is immaculate. The hood is as clean of a hood that you're gonna find on a vehicle this old. Um, I mean, it is, I've got one two-year-old vehicles on my lot that don't have a hood this nice. Um, little bit of fading here on the chrome cover way down here, which is consistent with that being so low and the amount of uh, little rocks and stuff that hit it but even not even really noticeable at that. So um, now I'll go over the left side of the view. Yeah, I'd say this side is every bit as clean as the other side, if not cleaner. Um, <clears throat> again, the tires are brand new tires. Uh, I don't see any pitting on the rims at all. I don't see any curb uh, scratches. And I don't see 
uh, really any kind of dings, scratches or rust. Uh, there's no sign anywhere that this has ever been painted that I can see. Excellent shape rims, good tires. Back bumper is in great shape considering the year and the miles. It's a little bit of a, um, a scratch right here that prior to me owning it, they got factory color and just kind of touched it up. Hardly even noticeable. Um, the hatch is in great shape. And just so you could see here, it's hard to tell because there's so much white in this room. This is not a flat white. It's got a little bit of a pearl cream type action to it. So it's real classy looking. A little bit of a, it's not even a scratch, it's a scuff. This would probably buff off just a little bit right there. But this side is in excellent, excellent shape. And just remember, if you're seeing one of these on the internet from other dealers, I guarantee you there isn't a dealer that's going to go over it this close. Um, you can assume there's a little ding here, a little imperfection there. They're just not disclosing it. I'd rather disclose it now um, if you're on the other side of the country um, than to have you come and be disappointed. Most of my customers, when they get to pick the vehicle up, they, uh, they say, oh, wow, I don't even see half those things you pointed out. And so uh, always good to be overcritical. So uh, I'll do the, uh, as you can hear, uh, the engine's quiet, the exhaust is quiet, the headers are quiet. Of course, it comes 125 point inspected, certified pre-owned, so the engine, tranny, all that's good to go. It comes with the free 60 day warranty with this vehicle. You could get all the way up to five additional years and 100,000 additional miles. Got a good solid battery here. One of the things I like about these navigators is that it has the power running boards. When you open the door, they pop out, which are really nice. And as you can see here, the seats are in excellent shape. A lot of time these uh, seats will, you know, they'll get all cracked up, but this one's really nice. There's no cracks, there's no stuffing coming out, anything like that. It's got power seats, power lumbar. It even has memory seats, so if your wife's shorter than you, you can set it to where it'll not only move the seat where you set it, it'll even move the steering wheel. This is a power steering wheel. And so you can set your seat back as far as you want. You can set your steering wheel where you want it. And you can even set the power mirrors on both sides where you want it. And when you, when you hit this button, it'll move the mirrors, the power steering wheel, and the seat to fit for you. Just like that. Of course this has the power or the, it has the airbags, side airbags. Very, very clean interior. has the windshield or the uh, turn signals into the mirrors. One common problem with these, this little piece of trim right here with the expansion and contraction over the years can get a little bit of the laminate can crack. Not sure if you can see that, not really a big deal. You can get these aftermarket, you can get them uh, used at a parts yard, you can get them on eBay or you can just get one factory from the dealer but I wouldn't even worry about it you don't even see it it even has uh, the power pedal so it'll not only move the seat where you want it when you hit your seat setting it'll even move the pedal up 
real high if your wife's short. It's got all your stereo settings here, your media settings right here, and of course it has cruise. As you can see in here, uh, this has the really awesome uh, LED uh, dashboard. Uh, there are no lights on in the dash as far as check engine lights, airbag lights, tire pressure monitor lights, all that type of stuff. All of your gauges are good with oil pressure and temperature. It has uh, 94,348 miles on it, um, which is really good for a seven-year-old vehicle. So it's essentially, according to model year, an eight-year-old vehicle. So um, they say average miles per year is 15,000. Um, so this isn't, uh, it's below average miles. Uh, it has the uh, <clears throat> CD changer, six disc CD changer, AM FM cassette, C or I'm sorry, AM FM CD. It has the dual climate control and the rear climate control, rear heat, rear air. And then one thing I like about this one is it has uh, heated seats, which is not very, you know, uncommon, but it also has air conditioned seats. Uh, which is pretty rare. You have to get a very loaded up one of these in order to get the air conditioned seats It's got your full information center. It has traction control. It has the tow button the full tow package It has this is the awesome feature with these you have 4 by 4 auto 4 by 4 For a really bad snowstorm or if you're towing something and then you can put it in 4 by 2 to save on gas when you don't need the 4 by 4 There are no signs that this was ever smoked in. Very, very clean. Inside the ashtray, no cigarette burns, no smoke smell. It has the glove box here. And what's cool about this is it has an, uh, an iPhone uh, adapter here that you can plug right in. And you can get an adapter for the new iPhone or you can get an adapter depending on the type of phone you have. So you can plug it right into the system here. So uh, dimming rear view mirror. And then it has the rear window, uh, rear power window, and the uh, uh, the defroster, and then it has the um, power moonroof here. You can tilt it up as a vent, or you can slide it all the way. As you can see here, the shade is extremely clean. The headliner is very, very clean. And I'm gonna um, show you this. This has the power uh, rear windows that pop out as vents. I already have them open. I'm gonna close one just so you can see they work. And it has the power rear hatch. It has the airbags up here and in the seats. And this is the DVD player. This also has the uh, THX uh, sound system, which is like another company like Bose. Very good speakers. Captain's uh, chairs in the middle, along with the um, island right here, glove department, um, storage department, cup holders, rear heat and rear air, cigarette light adapter. four-wheel drive and the rear seats here you can fold them down 
flat if you don't need the third row. Um, you also have your jack here and your spare tire. And what's nice about these is you can put them up like this as far as power. And then your um, headrests just pop up like that. Very nice feature. Again, each one of these doors is all solid. There's no rust. There's no bubbling. All the seats are extremely clean. No rips, no tears. No one's ever sat in this back seat. Very, very clean. Carpet back here is brand new. Carpet back here is, I mean, it's excellent. And if you've read our description, you'll know uh, all of these never come with car mats. By the time I get them, they just get removed by detail shops and what have you. You can get brand new ones anyways at AutoZone for 20 bucks that are uh, the same color. So one important notation about this DVD player, at the time that I'm filming this, it is March 28th, and I will be flying to San Diego uh, for a week-long vacation. I just got this unit in and um, it comes to you fully inspected uh, but I have not yet had a chance to have my electrical guy look at this DVD player I am NOT getting power to this which could be something as simple as a fuse uh, I have not had good luck with this exact DVD player whether it be in the navigators or in the uh, Ford Expeditions and Explorers. It's a, it's a very poor DVD player. They're known for going out. So I'm going to price this vehicle accordingly. You can have a much, much, much better DVD player put in. Obviously the DVD players nowadays are a lot better than they were seven years ago. You can get a much bigger screen. You could remove this entirely and they can get some fabric that matches this color and patch it and you can get them put into the back of the seats. Or maybe you don't have kids, you don't even want a DVD player. Um, you know, you don't have to do anything, but just close it. Um, I can have a DVD player, a very, very nice one installed, my cost, wholesale, for uh, $750. I can have a sufficient, decent one installed for $450. So if you wanted to have uh, my company do it I get a discount no tax uh, and the labor and the parts are a lot less it will be professionally done um, by the leading stereo and DVD installer uh, not only in Ohio but one of the top 10 in the country called Century 2000 in Akron um, or uh, you can get it done you know on your end at a later time so I'm lowering the price of this $700 assuming it don't work uh, I have to wait in line for about a week to have the special electrical guy take a look at this. Uh, it may just be something stupid like a relay, so check back with me about the DVD player. This has that stretch, you know, little, um, that little crack here in the cover. Again, very common for this year of a vehicle, but not a big deal. Again, carpet is in great shape. Power seats work on this side, and it has the uh, headphones. And again, these headphones are so outdated, um, they don't have the little foam on them. I can get these, my cost, 10 bucks brand new that will uh, work with any DVD player. Um, This has all the books, which is a good indicator that the vehicle was well taken care of. Uh, owner, you know, maintained all of your books here from the factory. So 
So that's all your books here. There's no uh, hail damage or dings up here. This has the chrome luggage rack. Once again, uh, power tailgate from the uh, remote itself. Um, you just push the button here and it'll open it or it'll close it, which is a really, really nice feature. The vehicle came with two key fobs and two keys, obviously because of the year, a lot of times they get lost. So all I got with this at the time I purchased it was one key fob that works and a key. Um, these key fobs you can get online for 15 bucks and they come with little things on how to program them. You can get a key made very inexpensively uh, at a Lincoln dealer. So that's if you want two keys. So overall I give this vehicle a eight out of 10. I give the interior a nine out of 10, uh, extremely Extremely clean vehicle. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call on my cell phone, 330-715-1555. One last thing here just to go over the Carfax with you. Of course, it has a clean Carfax. There are no accidents or any uh, flagged items. The vehicle uh, was driven, as I've already said, in PA. And it is a three-owner, which some people say, oh, why is it a three-owner? Well, the average amount of time that a vehicle is driven nowadays is three years so this is uh, average it's not above average it's not below it's average um, it looks like the original uh, owner drove it for about nine months which is common for these very loaded up vehicles it may have been on some type of a lease or some type of a company car type situation where they get a vehicle once a year and then it was traded back into the dealer and then they sold it to another customer and all of your oil changes, every single one of your preventive maintenances were done here at a dealer, which is very awesome because the dealers will fix things that don't need fixed because that's how they make their money by charging back their uh, franchise uh, through warranties. So every oil change and preventive maintenance record, as you can see here, right on time, 3,000 miles, 3,000 miles, 3,000 miles, 3,000 miles, along with the other uh, the other repairs as well, preventive maintenance type stuff. Um, so this is a excellent, excellent Carfax because it shows the maintenance of the vehicle. The third owner, you can see here, 3,000 miles, 3,000 miles, 3,000 miles, 3,000 miles, all the way down until um, uh, December at, of uh, 2014. And then it was traded in to a large dealership um, who doesn't normally sell these type of vehicles. They took it to the auction and I just bought it. So excellent maintenance history there.